ready, Terry? Yes. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call the meeting to order with a short prayer and a salute to our flag. Almighty God, grant us the wisdom to make those decisions that are in the best interest of all of our residents. May the Heavenly Father of us all bless those who have given the ultimate sacrifice in service to our nation, and may he watch over and protect our service men and women now guarding the gates of freedom. Salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Okay, uh, statement of publication. Take notice that this regular meeting of the mayor and council being held on, on this 22nd, on, on, Jessica. 22nd day of February 2016 has been advertised and posted in accordance with Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975. Roll call. Council persons Buchanan. Here. Grillo? Here. Kilpatrick? Here. Lembo? Here. Novak? Here. Rittenhouse? Here. Okay, uh, uh, approval of prior minutes of the mayor and council. Council president? Mayor, I move the following minutes be approved subject to correction if necessary. January 12, 2016, receipt of bids. January 25th, 2016, regular agenda and executive session meetings. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Terry, the proclamation for the Red Open Cross. Now. Council Persons Buchanan? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Grillo? Yes. Kilpatrick? Yes. Lenbo? Yes. Novak? Yes. Rittenhouse? Yes. Now we have the following proclamation to be read into record tonight. Proclamation Red Cross Month 2016. In the borough server, we have a long history of helping our neighbors in need. The American Red Cross Month is a special time to recognize and thank our everyday heroes, those selfless Red Cross volunteers and donors who give their time and resource to help our community members. Those heroes help families find shelter after a home fire. They give blood to help trauma victims and cancer patients. They deliver comfort items to military members in the hospital. They use life-saving skills to save someone from a heart attack, drowning, or choking. They enable children around the globe to be vaccinated from measles and rubella. The American Red Cross depend on local heroes to deliver help and hope during disaster. We applaud those heroes here in the borough of Cerville who give themselves to assist their neighbors when they need a helping hand. Across the country and around the world, the American Red Cross responds to disasters big and small. In fact, every eight minutes, the organization responds to community disaster, providing shelter, food, emotional support, and the necessities to those affected. It collects 40% of the nation's blood supply, provides 24-hour support to military members, veterans, and their families, teaches millions of life-saving skills such as lifeguarding and CPR, and through its Restoring Family Links program, connects family members separated by crisis, conflict, and migration. We dedicate the month of March to all those who support the American Red Cross mission to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies. Our community depends on the, Red, on the American Red Cross, which relies on donations of time, money, and blood to fulfill its humanitarian mission. Now, therefore, I, Kennedy O'Brien, Mayor of the Borough of Cerville, do hereby, by virtue and the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the Borough of Cerville in the state of New Jersey, do hereby proclaim the month of March 2016 as American Red Cross Month, and I encourage all Americans to support this organization and its noble humanitarian mission. Is there a second? Second. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. At this time, we're going to go into a quick closed session. We have the planning board attorney here and the borough planner, and we needed to go over something. So with, with attorneys, the clock is ticking like a cab. So uh, and mayor, we want to make it a short ride. Yeah, whereas this public body is of the opinion that such, such some circumstances presently exist, now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and the borough council of the borough of Sarah County, Middlesex, State of New Jersey, the public portion of this here, uh, meeting is hereby adjourned in order that the governing body may meet in uh, closed private session for approximately 15 minutes to discuss the following matters, litigation, contract negotiations. Following conclusion of said closed session, the governing body shall reconvene the open portion.
portion of this public meeting consider any other matters which may be properly brought before it at this time. The nature and content of the discussion which occurs in closed session shall be made public at such time as the need for non-disclosure no longer exists. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Will the resolution be approved? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed.
When you're ready, Terry. We're ready, Terry. Make a motion we reconvene. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next order of business. I need to read this into the record. Uh, dated February 10th, 2016. Ordinances were presented to me for signature on February 9th, 2016. For the record, I am returning and vetoing ordinance number 321-16, amending the rules of order of the council in so much as it is contrary to every rule of order for every governing body of the state of New Jersey and there is no practical reason in adopting same. So therefore, on this 10th day of February, 2016, I am vetoing ordinance 321-16. Okay, next. Mayor, at this time, I, I make a motion to uh, override the veto. Second. Is there comments? Roll call. Yes, yeah. uh, comment, Mayor. Okay. Um, again, this ordinance we're taking out the phrase but may be withdrawn or amended by the mover at any time before discussion which means that it comes up you can't withdraw in my opinion you can't withdraw the uh, ordinance or the motion and also just a clarification i had mentioned this came about because i voted no on a uh, ordinance that I introduced, which I am allowed to under Robert's Rules of Order, and under further uh, examination, page 50 of our Rules of Order also indicates that I'm allowed to do that, and the attorney did not know that. Okay, are there any other comments? Roll yes. call. Mayor, over the, over the years, if you read our Rules of Order, they are amended quite often. This is just an amendment to the Rules of Order. It's just so that we have a little bit more clarity, uh, or before a vote is taken, we have discussion. You could withdraw it at that time before the vote. We're just saying, you know, that the first person to vote on it should be the person that brought it up. It doesn't, no skin off anybody's nose. It's just to make everything a little bit more above board. Thank you. Mary, you withdrew that part of where you could withdraw it. You withdrew that from the motion. Read it right there. Before discussion, you can Art. always it says withdraw before it, discussion. Art. You just try. That you it's can just, withdraw it with before. You can always withdraw it before the vote. The opportunity, everyone. The opportunity. Once the vote starts discuss. being taken, you can never withdraw it. Art. You can a roll call. Okay. Are there any other? Are there any other comments? No other comments. Roll call. Council persons Buchanan. Yes. Grillo. Yes. Kilpatrick. Yes. Lembo. No. Novak. Yes. Rittenhouse. No. Okay, um, I'm gonna, oh, you know, I never opened up the, was there a public hearing on that, Mike? Um, yeah, before, it's, it's, right now it's just the old business meeting. Okay. okay. There was no public okay. hearing necessary on that portion there. Okay, uh, next ordinance, Terry. I'm gonna uh, open the public hearing for any comments on ordinance 322-16. Are Rudin. there any comments? Jessica's gonna read it into record. Go ordinance right number 322-16, an ordinance appropriating $150,000 for various improvements to the sanitary sewer system for and by the borough of Cerebral, County of Middlesex, New Jersey. Are there any comments, questions? Entertain a motion. I move that the public hearing be closed, the ordinance be adopted on second and final reading and advertised according to law. Second. Roll call. Council Persons Rittenhouse. Yes. Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Kilpatrick? Yes. Lembo? Yes. Novak? Yes. That's ordinance. Public hearing on. Public hearing on ordinance number 323-16, an ordinance supplementing and amending chapter 13 of the revised general ordinances of the borough of Cerville to amend section 13-7.3. This is on the clothing bins that we have around the, uh, the borough. Uh, are there any questions or comments on this? Being no questions or comments, I'll entertain a motion. I move the public hearing be closed, the ordinance adopted on second and final reading and advertised according to law. Second. Roll call. Council persons Kilpatrick? Yes. Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Lembo? Yes. Novak? Yes. Rittenhouse? Yes. Next item. Ordinance number 324-16, an ordinance supplementing and amending chapter two of the revised general ordinances of the borough of Cerville, section 2-33.6. 
This is uh, amending where the green, it, it's a housekeeping ordinance about the yep. green team, where it's located in our ordinances. Are there any questions or comments? Barbara, come on up. Perfect. Hill Cummins, 22 Schmidt Street. I believe I'm a miss. I should have commented about 32316. Um, since I was very vocal, usually I'm critical, but I have to give the council and the mayor credit for creating an ordinance on these clothing bids. If you recall, I was extremely critical because they were placed anywhere, especially on Main Street, and people were dumping what they wanted to there. So I'm glad that the council did take action on this. And apparently, I don't know, when I was reading 324, it says delete clothing bins. So, and that's not part of. No. Yeah, no. Housekeeping. no housekeeping. Housekeeping. It's it's the new section. section 320, the other one. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I want to thank you for doing that. Thank you, Barb. Because our town is a mess to begin with. We don't need any more. Are there any other questions or comments on this ordinance? Being no other questions or comments, I'll entertain a motion. I move the public hearing be closed. The ordinance adopted on second and final reading and advertised according to law. Second. Roll call. Council persons Kilpatrick? Yes. Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Lembo? Yes. Novak? Yes. Rittenhouse? Yes. Under new business? Introduction to the following ordinance, ordinance number 325-16, an ordinance amending chapter 2, administration, subsection 2-41, Human Relations Commission of the revised general ordinances of the Borough of Serval. Mayor, I move the ordinance be approved on first reading advertised according to law in a public hearing to be held on March 14th, prevailing time. Is there a second? Second. Roll call. Council persons Novak? Yes. Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Kilpatrick? Yes. Lembo? Yes. Rittenhouse? Yes. Ne next item. Introduction of Ordinance Number 326-16, an ordinance amending Chapter 2, Administration to amend Subsection 2-49, Information Technology Advisory Commission of the Revised General Ordinances of the Borough of Serval. Council Mayor, I uh, move. Woman, uh, Novak. I move the ordinance be approved on first reading advertised according to law. Second. Uh, public Hold hearing time. to be held on <laughs> March 14th. <laughs> prevailing so, time. There a second? Second. Roll call. Council persons Novak? Yes. Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Kilpatrick? Yes. Lembo? Yes. Rittenhouse? Yes. Okay, uh, this time I'm going to open the public portion section of the consent agenda item. Are there any questions? Barbara? I feel like I'm a one-man band. Don't stop. 2016-59. I think that's a little excessive for a fee, just for a feasibility study. Jay? Uh, Barbara, it's actually a little more than a feasibility study. We're bringing an architect on board to prepare preliminary plans for the building layout. We're going to have meetings with the Public Works Director, the Public Works Committee, to review the layout of the facility and actually come up with some better plans so we can get a better idea what the building's going to cost. So it's a little more than a feasibility study. Of what the building is going to cost and do they have a location for this building? At this point there's not a specific location that's been decided upon. There's been a number of sites talked about but I don't think the council has decided specifically where the building's going to be located. I think that one of the reasons why we need to have the architect is because we need to take a look at what size we're actually going to be dealing with, and that might open up other options for possible land, depending on the size of this building, the dwelling, and what we really need. Well, before you go ahead and build the Taj Mahal, I would look at other communities. I'd look at the Turnpike. I'd look at the county. I would look at different, I mean, even businesses that have because I really feel that this public works has run amok and is costing the taxpayers a lot of money in spite of what you two ladies seem to think and how much you promote for public works. That's not what the rest of this community is feeling and thinking. Trust me. And I just think it's gone way out of hand. Like Mr. Streck pointed out at the budget meeting, you spent a million dollars, 900 and some thousand dollars on equipment last year. And then we have an auction where 
I contacted the Department of Community Affairs and what I did was set up a red flag for Cerville. Trust me, I had trouble finding the proper people to speak to and I spe spoke to two several people about Cerville and what they said it wasn't illegal but it certainly was not feasible and it almost bordered on, ethic on ethics. So that, I'll save that to the other portion about that. But believe me, we can't just have a huge Christmas wish list with taxpayers' money. We lost a lot of money with um, Weber Avenue, MacArthur. The revenue's not coming in. He gave away the store with Highview. So how much more can you hit these people up for? Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Um, Are I there any other questions or comments? Can I just say one thing? Um, you know, Barbara mentioned having a look around at other municipalities. I just want to say, uh, Jay, um, Dan, Dan, um, just before this meeting started, what did I say I planned on doing on Wednesday and where was I going to visit? Go look at Carteret. I was going to look at actually three different municipalities, um, one of which being Carteret, another being Edison, and another being East Brunswick. So due diligence is being had to make sure that the facility that we do put out there for the residents is not a quote unquote Taj Mahal, but really what we need, no, no, no Christmas wish list, just making sure that we can pick up the garbage and make the town look better, which is one of the complaints that Mrs. Kilcummings has had repeatedly. So, thank you. Are there any other questions uh, about the consent agenda? Being no other questions, I'll entertain a motion. I move the public hearing be closed and the consent agenda resolutions be approved on roll call vote. Second. Second. Roll call. Council Persons Buchanan? Yes. Grillo? Yes. Kilpatrick? Yes. Lembo? Yes, with the exception of 2016 73. Just the one. Mm. Council persons Novak? Uh, yes. And right in the house. Uh, yes, with the exception of 2016-71 and 2016-73 will be a no. Okay, at this time, I'm going to open the public portion for questions or comments on any and all issues. Are there any questions or comments? Barbara? Barbara Kilcummins. Um, when I mentioned ethics, I was quite surprised to read an article about Oldbridge. And after creating all these commissions, committees, and everything else, I think what Cerville is in dire need of is an ethics commission and an ethics committee. They appointed non political people to a committee. And I think of coming to all these council meetings and watching what's going on and everything else, I think we entire need of ethics and applying ethics to how we perform and everything else. Um, they had lay people that were totally non-political and they had, I think it was clergy and different departments. And I was quite impressed after reading that article, and I think several could really abide by an ethics commission. My second item is for Mrs. Kilpatrick. You mentioned the last meeting. I'm so happy that we have these meetings now online. When you mentioned that I made it political against Sarah, and then I picked on Mr. Daddio, and I made it political for Mr. Daddio, I stopped and thought, I never mentioned his name. I never mentioned that he was chairman, or that he ran it, or the way he ran Sarah. Mine was just after Sarah. I went back and sat and watched every meeting for the last six meetings. Never once did I mention his name. I brought up Sarah, but I never mentioned him. And I resent you saying that I'm making it political and that I was going after Mr. Daddio, which I didn't. I could care less. Mr. Daddio shot himself in the foot. 
when he said, I am Miss, I am Sarah, I can have my meeting wherever I want, if I want it in Perth Amber or whatever. I'll and then he the said meeting. he didn't have the authority that he comes to you. Sure, what do you do? You rubber stamp it. Never do I see this council really question or scrutinize what's brought before them. And I attend all meetings, and I have a history, and I know. I serve on Sarah, so while you may not see it here, I do question. I question a lot. I question more than one. But I realize. never mentioned Mr. Daddio's name, and I never made it political. I will double check that. And it well, you better go back and check. That's it, one good thing we have is those meetings. I'm so. And uh, it, they're online, and I checked and watched every single one, and especially because you made that I was making a political mention his name. Never did I mention his name. I never mentioned one member of Sarah. Sometimes, Mrs. Kilcummings, with all due respect, sometimes your comments are not holding the mic in hand, but you do make it very clear from your seat. And I will also double check all, as well and make sure that that's Well, you go back statement. and check. And even if I, I say will. something from my seat, I do not make it that and it's you're as bad as your cohort telling false things about my son which weren't true too so i'd go back and check records before as political officials when you make statements that's why i think we're in dire need of an ethics commission and another comment everyone was vocal i could hear but you mr dupont cannot hear you your audio on all the meetings which i'm grateful that our new IT man did put them on, just like the Board of Eds, and, but could not hear you. Yeah, I know. I told Mr. Streck that I'll have to speak a little closer because he mentioned it at the last meeting. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Are there any other questions or comments? Being no uh, other questions or comments, I'll take a motion to close the, the public, public portion. portion be closed? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next uh, we'll go to the agenda. Hey, what day did you send that that email out about about the boy that's running tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. I just had it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You all set? Would everyone please stand for a salute to our flag? Our flag allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jessica's statement of publication. Take notice that this agenda Agenda session of the mayor and council being held on this 22nd day of February 2016 has been advertised and posted in accordance with Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975. Okay, roll call. Councilpersons Buchanan? Here. Grillo? Here. Kilpatrick? Here. Lembo? Here. Novak? Here. Rittenhouse? Here. Okay, before we start the meeting, 
I want to read this. It's about a young, a young uh, high school fella here in Sayreville. He has, uh, he's my, he has the same last name as I do, but we're not related. Uh, and, and it goes like this. On February 23rd, Brendan O'Brien, a senior at the Wardlaw Hartridge School, will embark on a 15-mile mission to support members of the military. On that date, O'Brien will complete a solo, raise the flag run. The 17-year-old who has spent five months studying issues that veterans face upon their return to civilian life for a capstone research seminar is running to raise awareness and money for men and women who have served our country. I recognize that five months isn't a heck of a lot of time to study an issue, but it was more than enough time for me to learn the statistics that are beyond disturbing, he said. The rate of suicide, unemployment, and homelessness among men and women who served in recent years is appalling. I think it is appalling that these brave men and women are not helped more upon their return to civilian life. Eddie, you're going to be out there tomorrow. Please come up. At Streck 58 Nickel Avenue, Cerville, uh, American Legion Post 211 and VFW Post 4699 will be at his home. So when he comes in, we'll be there to greet him. I know I spoke to my chief of staff, Ken <coughs> Kelly, who's also the liaison uh, to the Veterans Alliance. Um, and and as, as usual, the veterans of Cerville are second to none. We'll be there, and, rain or shine. And we thank you. I did speak with uh, young Brendan's mother tonight, and, and I said, you know, it's supposed to be in clement weather tomorrow. And she said, he runs rain or shine. We'll, so, be, yeah, we'll be there, rain or shine. Uh, I know our clerk and, and uh, Pat Limbo are friends of the parents, but Terry, if you would, this is an extraordinary and exceptional young man, and uh, he deserves uh, our, our support and, and uh, our best wishes. So Terry, if you would, about young Brendan, if you want to say a few words. Well, Mayor, I really don't have really that much to say other than I know Cliff and Linda O'Brien for a, a number of years and um, I haven't seen Linda and Cliff's son in a number of years probably since he was maybe maybe two or three years old when we used to get together with my, my children and his my son is about the same age as, as uh, their son um, but they did raise a, a wonderful a family and um, we have to give kudos to his son who chose a wonderful um, organization and um, 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 thing to, to support and um, I give him a lot of credit and thank him. Pat, I'm familiar with the with Linda and Cliff uh, back from Pop Warner days. Our kids did Pop Warner together and uh, they're, they're good people, great yeah. family and uh, it's just an incredible job the young man's doing. Okay, if you would Terry or, or uh, would you reach out to the chief, particularly if the weather's in Clement, I think the young man is supposed to hit the Victory Bridge by what time? Between 2 and 2.30. So I don't want anything happening to him. So if you see if the chief can, can do something uh, um, to give him some protection from the traffic. Will do. So with that, young Brendan O'Brien, the people of Cerebral are proud of you. And we wish you our best wishes. And um, upon your completion, we'd like to have you in here and, and see what you look like in person. Mayor, so. may I just say, uh, anybody that wants to make a pledge? Terry, could you read the name again? I would, I would love to read it. Anybody uh, wants to make a pledge? This is called Raise the Flag Run, and uh, donations to support the veterans may be made online to www.donate.travismanion, that's T-R-A-V-I-S-M-A-N-I-O-N, dot org, forward slash fundraise, Question mark FCID equals six zero eight three zero nine. Terry. Or to make it easier, give me a call tomorrow. I'll be more than happy to forward you that email address. My number is seven three two three nine zero seven zero two five. Terry, I'm going to ask you to ask uh, that they put it up on the website oh, and, and on the uh, on the Channel cable 15. TV. Cable access. 
Okay, so uh, with that, we will go to the first order of business, Jessica. Uh, are there any, uh, I'm sorry, you don't need to read it again. Are there, is there any discussion on, on 325 or 326? Under new business committee reports, administration and finance, Councilwoman Novak. Okay. Uh, the following minutes uh, received and filed uh, as printed as one, two, three, three. <laughs> and four on the uh, agenda. Is there a second? Second. Next item. Okay, applications for bingo and ra ra uh, raffle licenses. There's quite a few. I'm gonna do the same thing again as it appears on the uh, agenda, one, two, three, four, and five. They're all different uh, raffle and bingo licenses for several organizations in town. Okay, uh, any objections? Next item. Request for trash reimbursement received from SCP MacArthur LLC, a 20 unit multifamily property located at 154 172 MacArthur Avenue as required by state law. Dan, would you yeah. explain this? <clears throat> I know. I, I believe it is, Mayor, that they, because they're a multifamily over, I believe it's eight families or uh, it's the row housing. It's the row housing here with that. We need to re we, we have to reimburse them for their yeah. garbage. Why don't we just give them garbage? Yeah. Um, we could look into that, but I prefer I think it's cleaner. I think it is cleaner if we reimburse them mayor. I, I think what happens okay. is those those are transient those transient right. residents. Okay. And I think to make sure it keeps clean. We it's probably right. cleaner. We do it this way. Any objection? Next item. Okay. Special ruling received from the ABC allowing for the renewal of Sherry Haas, LLC, for 2015-2016. This is a pocket license, Terry? This is a pocket license, Mary, yes. Any objection? No, uh, anything else, Councilwoman? Uh, just to say that uh, we had a budget uh, meeting this week. Uh, the budget will be introduced on the 14th of March. Uh, by law, we have to have it by March 11th uh, or the closest meeting to that date, so that'll be March 14th. Uh, I'll be meeting with the business administrator and, uh, and Wayne to get this down a little lower prior to that. So the, uh, the public hearing on it will be uh, April, the first meeting in April, correct? Second the second meeting in April. So I'm just giving you the dates out there so you can plan your schedule and come and ask questions, okay? The, April 25th. May okay. rather than that. Probably. Thank you. Uh, planning and zoning, Councilman Grillo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everyone. I move the following reports and minutes be received and filed. The construction officials report, zoning and code enforcement report, fire prevention report, all for the month of January 2016. Sorry. And Thanks. the Middlesex County Planning Board minutes of January 12, 2016. Is there a second? Second. second. Next item. Notice to the adjacent property surrounding municipalities received from Saltwater Tackle Inc. on an application before the Zoning Board on February 24, 2016 for a bulk variance to allow the applicant to affix an awning sign and other types of variances. Public notification for the submission of an NJDEP application for freshwater wetlands and flood hazard area permits for the improvements to Main Street and Crossman Road and resolutions received from the Middlesex County Planning Board noticing their annual meeting schedule. Anything else? Yes, one more item. A request for bond reduction received from Highview Homes LLC for their project located off of Old Spy Road, which I'll refer to the borough engineer. Okay, anything else, Councilman? No, that's all, progress. Thank you. Public Safety, Councilman Limbo. Thank you, Mayor. I move the following minutes and, uh, and reports be received and filed. Board of Health reports for the month of January 2016. Police Chief's report for the month of January 2016. And also the Court Administrator's report for the month of uh, January 2016. Sir, second. Second. Next item. Also a public notice that the Board of Health will be conducting their annual free rabies clinics for dogs and cats on May 7th, 2016 from 9 a.m. till 12 noon. And that'll second. be at the DPW building here. Is there a second? Second. Anything else, Councilman? Uh, also, I'd just like to uh, congratulate and thank Rich Mulligan for completing his uh, second term as chief of uh, our fire department here. He was honored Saturday night at the President's Park Firehouse. We uh, certainly thank Rich for his dedication to Sayreville. 
And I'd also like to uh, recognize the Cerebral Fire Department again for helping out at that Hillsboro fire. We had approximately uh, 10 firefighters working there helping out, and we uh, certainly thank them for their efforts. Uh, other than that, progress. Thank you. Public Works, Councilwoman Kilpatrick. I move the following minutes and reports be received and filed. Uh, all Public Works Supervisor reports for the month of January 2016. Public Work Director's Report for the month of January 2016 and the Rent Leveling Board Minutes of February 9th, 2016. Is there a second? Second. Next item. And uh, notice received from the County Division of Solid Waste Management and a public hearing to be held on February 29th, 2016 at 6 p.m. in the County Administrative Building on an amendment to the County's Solid Waste Management Plan. Second. Is there a second? Anything else, Councilwoman? That's all progress. Thank you. Thank you. Water and Sewer Environmental, Councilman Rittenhouse. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, minutes in the uh, move the following minutes or reports be received and filed. Water and Sewer Director's 2015 Annual Report and Report for the month of January 2016. Is there a second? Second. Next item. And notice received from DEP seeking public comment on their intent to approve an air pollution control operating permit renewal for EFS Parlin Holdings, LLC, located at 790 Washington Road. Draft permit can be reviewed can be viewed at the website. Second. Is there a second? Yep. Anything else, Councilman? Um, just real quick, um, this uh, past weekend, the uh, Sarah War Memorial <coughs> High School boys bowling team won the uh, Tournament of Champions. They won the group four, and then all of the groups won through, I guess there's five now, and they won the Tournament of Champions, which means they're overall state champions. I'd like to invite them with the council's approval for our March meeting. Any and one of, one of the young men, Second. his father passed away on Christmas Day. And had, the father had always gone to all of the uh, meets, and they dedicated that to him. And they came from behind to win the championship. Ah, great. Good story. And other than that, progress. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Recreation Council President. Thank you, Mary. I move that the Recreation Director's Report for the month of January 2016 be received and filed. Is there a second? Second. second. Next item. Uh, letter B. Terry, uh, everything in order with these two coin tosses? Everything is in order. We already even have the county's approval. Okay. Then I'd like to have them approved. Any objection? Next item. Letter C. Cerebral Day Committee is requesting permission to conduct the annual Cerebral Day on September 18th with a rain date on the 25th. I'd like that get approved. Any objection? Next item. Letter D, applications for special permits, um, requesting approval pending uh, department approvals for the uh, Obridge Cerebral Rotary as well as the Dorcridge Temple. Any objection? Next item. Um, letter E, I'm going to uh, combo. The rec director applied for and received the New Jersey Trails grant for 2016 in the amount of $24,000. I want to thank Jerry uh, for applying for the grant and also for the state for awarding the grant. Uh, it's going to go for... Uh, the Conservation Corps and helping keeping that area uh, up and running. So I just want to thank Jerry and, and congratulations uh, for getting that grant. Um, let me just see here. I, I too wanted to congratulate the bowling team. Uh, I saw that in the newspaper. I was very excited. I uh, My niece bowls and I would go up once in a while and watch the matches and go over and sneak over and see Cerebral as well. Uh, so I just want to congratulate them. Um, also, I know a few years back, uh, I'm going to see if we could, I could work with Dan on this, but a few years back, I guess it was back in the 90s, Mary, um, they had, we recognized an employee once a month, um, and I'm hoping that we can go back and do that again, where we can recognize the employee, come in, uh, have the, the Give him an during Dan, during his um, director's okay. meetings to go over and see who we can recognize, and I'm going to sit down with Dan and see if, how we can honor an employee once a month. Anything else? Um, lastly, we talked about, um, I, I don't know how far we can go with regards to the contract, uh, the negotiation. Well, yes, yeah, yes, we got yes. it. Uh, yeah. There was a question regarding the um, um, park and ride and the, uh, the no, shelter. No, no, no. no. The, 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 the attorney. The attorney. The attorney. We oh, the water and the attorney. Okay. Correct. Is there a motion, Dan? Yeah, I move, I move that we appoint Dakota as the affirm. Second. For, for yes, I'm please. sorry. Let me, let me get that out. Uh, I move that we appoint Dakota uh, as the firm to uh, negotiate an agreement with uh, Duhernal. For the purchase for the, of For the, the purchase of Duhernal. 
from uh, uh, Ashland and uh, DuPont? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Do we need a uh, dollar figure in there? Or? No. Well, we can okay. ask them to send a guest in it. Okay. But, but uh, motion made and seconded. Roll call. Council persons Buchanan. Yes. Runs in order that way now. Brillo. Yes. Kilpatrick. Yes. Lembo. Yes. Novak. Yes. Rittenhouse. Yes. Anything else, Council? Yeah, just one. Council I just President. want to give uh, Jerry's report real quick. Uh, Mommy and Me. Uh, registration for Mommy and Me at the Rec Center and Little Kids Playtime at Kennedy Park is ongoing. You can register online at sarahrec.com or, or call the Rec Department uh, directly. And the Rec Department is having three different bus trips to Yankee Stadium. They are June 24th versus Minnesota, June, July 22nd versus San Francisco, and August 26th against Baltimore. Uh, the bus leaves, they're all Friday night games, the bus leaves at 415 and tickets are $90 each. They're in sections 128 and 129, which is the lower level. Uh, contact Jerry's office uh, if you're interested. Other than that, progress. Thank you. Um, I am going to appoint uh, Lori Ann Dabrinsky, how do I say that? Dabrinsky. Dabrinsky uh, to be the superintendent's designee on the library board for one year. Do I need any affirmation for that? Yes, you both should say. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? I'm sorry, who moved that? Art. Uh, Art. Oh, thank you, Art. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, with that, we'll go uh, to the business administrator's report. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, a request for authorization to extend a contract with Atlantic Waste Systems for the purchase of Howl parts for a final two-year term. Second. Um, I also have a request that's not on your uh, uh, agenda, but from actually South Amboy. Uh, their fire department, um, there was an accident of one of their fire engines. They are asking to borrow our fire engine eight uh, which we have are not being used at the present time for approximately three or four weeks. Uh, I wanted to make sure council was okay with this. We would be able to get uh, a certificate of insurance to make sure they were covered. And is the chief there? I think the chief, chief is. Uh, would, you gonna, would you talk with the BA uh, after the meeting about this? Sure. They, they've already asked, they've asked me. I'm asking you as council, would you oh, approve that? already discussed yes. it? Yes. yes. This is pre-discussed? It's pre-discussed. All right. Any Which objection? You, you guys are in favor of this? Okay. okay. Any objection? No. no. Okay. And then I would, uh, just to give you an update, I, I get a report from our IT director, Tom Bracken, every month. I just want to relay a couple things here. Um, number one is security cameras in the police. They're installed viewing stations in dispatch last week. They customized the views of various operational situations, such as the prisoner intake, court monitoring, et cetera. They've identified three to four cameras that are having a little bit of issues, but the vendor's working on it to resolve it and should be resolved this week. Uh, security cameras for the senior center. The cameras are all installed. The vendor went through the operation with Jen. Jen knows how to operate everything, yeah. and they are in operation. Also, uh, in-car police cameras were installed, cabling for police in-car cameras from February 10th through February 13th. We completed to install of the server and software configuration February 16th and 17th. We verified operation of new in-car camera systems in three vehicles, and this system eventually will be installed throughout the patrol fleet of the police. And last but not least, a topic here that everyone's dear to their heart, the meeting video update. Uh, we instructed the Secretary of Zoning and Sarah meetings on operation of the cameras. We were able to offload most of the two hours of the video we had for the budget meeting and published to the TV station to air this Saturday. We had an issue with the last tape that was used. We'll add it to a budget video once it's resolved. Um, we sent the clerk proposed TV schedule to begin in March to include Sarah and zoning meetings. And Tom had the company uh, that we used for the court to evaluate 308 and 310 in order to provide a state contract co quote, which should be in hand by the end of this week. And that's his report, Mayor. Okay. And, and I'd like uh, CFO's report. Sure. In your packet is also transfer resolutions. Uh, we also have a scheduled budget workshop meeting, which we scheduled for. Do, do we need to? I should ask the, the uh, liaison. Do we need to schedule a? I I think after uh, we meet on Monday, the 29th, correct? Correct. Well, well uh, you know, I'll get to Terry about if we need to schedule a mm -hmm. uh, 
a meeting then. I want to get something to talk about <laughs> before okay. Okay. I schedule a meeting. Okay. And then as we said, previous mayor, we said that we'd be introducing the budget uh, at the March 14th meeting by uh, New Jersey State Statute. Anything else, Dan? That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, borough Attorney's report? Yeah, only I want to report back. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Novak had asked about um, the bus shelter station shelters and whether we could terminate the contract. We can terminate subject to a 30 days notice and setting forth the default since they haven't done anything. So I just need authorization from the Mayor Council to allow me to send that letter. Is there any objection? No, I'm I can't wait. <laughs> okay. With that, I'm going to open the public portion for questions or comments on any and all issues. Are there any about. questions I or think comments? Got too many contracts. There being no, con no questions. Can I just get a moment of silence for a minute? Uh, there being no questions or comments, I'll entertain a motion to Look. close the public portion. So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I'll take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Look at that. We had a long closed yeah, session. Right. We're still. You are. You're. You're learning. <laughs>